What's up guys and welcome to my ninth Python 3 tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys about the uh, input function um, in Python. And uh, I, I, I used the input function in my last tutorial briefly, but I didn't really talk about it that much. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a little bit more about that. Um, and so if you didn't watch my last tutorial, uh, I will just, uh, or if you forgot, um, I'm just going to show you guys briefly exactly what the input function is. Um, so this is what the input function looks like and um, what it is is it allows the user to uh, type something in to your program to input something literally. Um, so if I just hit enter here and I can just type in whatever. Um, and if you were actually creating a program, it would not return this. It's just because it's in the interactive shell that it prints that out. Um, but uh, so let me show you something. If you do input and then you just put the left parentheses, oh my goodness. Well, it should come up, but it didn't. Um, there should have been a little box here that showed me what I can put in the parentheses. Um, and you you can put. Uh, a prompt in these in the parentheses. It's not necessary, but it's really helpful so that the user knows what they're supposed to be inputting. So, like if I did something like this, oops, there you go. and then hit enter. So you can see uh, this little thing comes up and it tells the user what they what you might want them to uh, input. Um, so let me go ahead right now, and I want to be using. Uh, I want to actually be create a program. So go ahead and open up a new window. Um, and uh, so what I'm going to show you, you can actually save whatever the user inputs into a variable. So like x. Let's say call the variable x. Pretty simple. Um, I am not going to type it like that. Let's just say you want to have them input their name again. I Just pretty simple, so I'm going to stick with it. What you can also do is you can save, so you can have them input something, and then whatever they input is, is actually saved to this variable x. And uh, that allows you to do a whole lot of things with it. Um, you can use it later in your program, like whenever you want, and that is really, really helpful. And um, most of the time when the user is inputting something, you are going to want to save it to a variable just because you're actually going to want to do something with what they input. Um, so then, like, for instance, you can print that, so I can just print x. Um, now let me run this. Let me go ahead and save it real quick. So, input. Um, make sure you save it with a .py extension always. And then I'm going to go ahead and run that. All right. Um, so you can see it output. It, it uh, saves whatever I put in, whatever the user puts in, in the variable x, then prints the variable x right there. That's pretty simple. Um, now let me show you. Uh, <clears throat> something else. It's a problem you might run into while you're trying to use the input function. Um, let's say you want them to put in their age for some reason. And then um, in like a function later on or maybe right after, I don't know, uh, for some reason you want to add 2 to their age. I don't know why, but let's say you do. Um, if you try running it like this, let me show you what happens. So save it and run the module. And let me put in my age. And then you can see it, it calls up an error here, and um, <clears throat> and that's because, like you can read down here, it can't convert the integer object to a string implicitly. And basically, what that's saying is, right now, the value that's stored in x seventeen is actually a string because whenever you use the input function, it's always it's always a string. Um, it's always just automatically a string. So I actually have a string here in the variable x. And I'm trying, um, well, Python thinks I'm trying to concatenate uh, an integer with that string, but I actually want to add it. But that doesn't matter um, because Python, since Python thinks this is a string and it knows that's an integer, well, it knows this is a string, but I don't want it to be. But it knows this is an integer and it can't concatenate the two. Um, so it's having a little issue there. So what I'm going to do is come up here to my origin, my first statement. And I'm going to put int and then parentheses at the beginning and parentheses at the end of this input function. And what that's doing is it's create it's 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 changing whatever they put in here, whatever they input, it's changing that into an integer. 
and then saving it in the variable x. So now it's not a string anymore, it's actually an integer. So let me go ahead and run that. And now if I put in my age, oops, it'll work. You can see it adds 2 to 17. Um, and that's because, again, I, I changed what I put in here to an integer. Um, and actually, if you want to change, like, for instance, the 2 to a string, uh, you can use this function, and that converts what's ever inside to a string. Um, but I don't really want to do that right now because I have no need for it. Um, now let me show you one more thing. Okay, so let me say you, you run this, and for some reason, um, the user inputs a, uh, an, a letter or a word or something that isn't a number. Even if it contains a number in it, say they put E at the end for some reason. Oops. It'll give you an error because it can't convert the letter to a string. It, 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 it doesn't, it can't recognize this as a, I mean, I mean to a number, sorry. Um, it doesn't recognize this as uh, capable of being an integer because it doesn't have a base 10. Um, so it, it can't convert, it can't convert things that aren't just numbers to, uh, to a number. You can't convert something, if, if a string contains anything that's not a number, it cannot be converted to an integer. Um, so you just have to keep that in mind, and there are some ways to get around that if the user accidentally puts in a number or a letter. Um, and I can, and you'll, you'll see that in a different tutorial. Um, all right, so thank you for watching. That's it for this tutorial. Uh, I showed you again how to do use the input function. Um, it's really, really important. Uh, you're going to need it a lot in programming. Um, and if you don't see that already, I mean, you will. Um, and then you can save it to a variable, which again, you'll basically have to do every single time you use the input function anyway. Uh, and then you can convert it to an integer if you need it to be an integer. Um, the same thing if you have like an integer, you need to convert it to a string uh, to concatenate it with another string or something. Uh, then you can use this str instead of int. They kind of do the same thing, except one converts to an integer, the other to a string, and you can tell that by their names. Um, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.